Hey, this is Kurt from Tenserve uh, Comments, and I'm going to bring to you another commentary of Mark. And I paired him with John Isner. They both bring their foot up, and um, <clears throat> so let's let's get started. See if we can find anything. So um, the setup's a little bit different. Uh, Mark has his racket up a little bit higher. Um, John Isner's is down a little bit more. You know, no big problem. Uh, feet are shoulder width apart. Um, feet are shoulder width apart. Um, <clears throat> the foot alignment looks pretty much the same. So everything looks good there. Let's, let's see where the toss is. So the rock back, the toss is off of the left hip. Toss is off of the left hip for John Isner. Um, wrist is about the same in both um, both frames and so now we're gonna go up and we can see this um, this angle here in the ri his wrist and Mark's wrist I really like this um, for me instead of having it just loose it allows you to have a little bit of control of the racket face and he's starting to bring his uh, back foot into his front foot so let's pair that with uh, John Isner. Okay, we're about the same spot. John Isner is bringing his uh, right foot um, up to his left foot. The toss has gone up. And let's. So now we're getting closer to um, the trophy pose here. Um, and let's pair that with John Isner. trophy pose. Uh, the only difference that I can see right here is, you know, John Isner has um, really gotten his hip way in, inside of the court. and uh, But I like um, Mark's bow and arrow right here. This isn't that bad. And uh, you can see kind of the same shape uh, with John Isner. The arms out. Uh, if you've seen some of my previous videos, um, Andy Reich has his arm out here so he can pull down really hard, but a lot of pros um, ha have this alignment where their um, elbow goes straight up to their uh, hand. So um, if a lot of pros do it, you know, it's not that bad. I'd argue that you could get a little bit more power by bringing your left arm back and so you can pull it in. But anyways, let's keep going. So here's racket drop. Um, the racket's gone down. Uh, the hand's above the elbow, so you know possibly could get a little bit more uh, external shoulder rotation here. But uh, the edge of the racket is starting to come up. It looks good. The legs are extending. Um, the left arm is pulling down elbow first. So let's pair that with John Isner. So, boom. Okay. John Isner, as you can see, his hand is not above his elbow, it's um, right behind it. So uh, he's gotten a little bit more shoulder, uh, external arm rotation. And his he's pulling, his chest is um, open. Uh, I could argue that um, maybe Mark could uh, open his chest a little bit more, bring his elbow a little bit back. Um, but the legs have extended and... Uh, you know, Mark is older than John, uh, and you can tell that John's getting a little bit um, better extension using his um, legs a little bit more, jumping up into the ball. And then let's go to the next frame here. So the arm's starting to come up into the ball. Arm's starting to come up into the ball. So here's where um, Mark has the 90 degrees of uh, uh, wrist extension still left to uh, go into the ball. He's um, he's starting to go jump up into the ball. Um, Isner's already off the ground at this point, um, one or two, one feet, one foot, and he's uh, starting to about to. Uh, put his wrist into the 
all the elbows lean. Uh, the background's pretty bad back there, but and there's his contact point now. It's 180 degrees. His left left elbow is pulling into his side. Left elbow is pulling into the side, contact point 180 degrees. Uh, the hips have rotated, the shoulder, uh, the upper body have, have rotated. Right right legs behind the ball. Isner's just getting a little bit more um, explosion from that leg extension off the ground. And then the pronation of the arm. Pronation of the arm. Um, Isner's about to come down and left leg's going to brace for impact and he's got a pretty good angle here this line from his knee to his head that just uh, tells me that he's put a lot of um, a lot of weight into it uh, into that serve. Um, Mark on the other hand could maybe benefit from getting a little bit better angle from his knee to head after he served um, and then the racket starts falling through on the left side so overall um, you know pretty pretty similar to John Isner's serve um, not bad uh, the only few things um, I would uh, the only few things I'd maybe look at is maybe getting a little bit more um, try to get a little bit more uh, use out of your legs at this point at this point when your legs are about to extend and then maybe you could get a little bit more shoulder rotation uh, external arm rotation but besides that very similar to John Isner so um, really put pretty good service motion um, and that'll do it for this video. Thanks a lot for, uh, watching and subscribe up here and like the video down there. And, uh, if you have your own video you want to send me, send it to ktennis85 at gmail.com. This was Kurt from Tennis Serve Comments. Thanks.